I am so tardy to the party on this subject and I'm downright ashamed of myself for being this late. I need to be more educated on alpha male boot camps because this is glorious. A lot of YouTubers have talked about this recently. It's called the MDK Project, the Modern Day Night Project. And basically, you pay $18,000 to spend three days getting blasted with a hose and digging your own grave while being yelled at. But you know what? Let's go ahead and hear them out. How much does this project cost? The project is $18,000. However, this is not just for the 75-hour experience, but also a 12-month in-depth coaching and mentorship program that focuses on developing an even higher level of personal excellence, self-mastery, leadership, and even more financial freedom. More like the lack thereof financial freedom, $18,000 in the shitter for this, and all you do is get a monthly Zoom call with some goofballs that'll just bestow upon you the wisdom of drop shipping. But, uh, sorry, there's still a very important sentence here. But the cost of not experiencing the project and mastermind and not becoming the leader, husband, and father you're meant to be is much more expensive in the long run. I'm convinced. Sign me up. I'm losing money by not investing in this course right now. $18,000 to get shot with a hose sounds pretty good when they put it this way. Because I wasn't thinking long term, right? It's $18,000 now up front into their piggy bank. But think about 10 years from now. It's going to cost me so much more money by not having that experience because then I'm not going to be the leader and husband I was meant to be. Because as a leader and a husband, you're always getting hit with hoses. So we need to learn how to defend ourselves and how to become a real man. And the only way to do that is by taking this three-day course where you just get waterboarded and yelled at. And also the Zoom call is a nice cherry on top. Who doesn't want a monthly Zoom call with the boys, especially when they're as successful as these gentlemen here? Look at this star-studded cast of superstars. World champion athletes, special operation vets, world-class thought leaders. Which, by the way, I love that term, a thought leader. I think about success. I'm one of the best people in the world at thinking about being successful. You need to learn from my thoughts. I know it has a real definition, but it's still so fucking goofy that they advertise that here. And of course... Eight to nine figure generating entrepreneurs. And also, the head honcho is going to share with you the same empire building strategies that he used to create multiple seven, eight, and nine figure companies from the ground up. I'm just going to go ahead and tell you the Krabby Patty secret formula even without investing the $18,000. Hopefully this doesn't get me sued. I imagine those galaxy brain lucrative strategies all revolved around taking advantage of desperate, vulnerable men that are willing to pay $18,000 to LARP as some kind of soldier for three days under the impression that it's somehow going to make them a better man or a more financially successful one. I'm just spitballing. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I don't mean to break the magician's code, but I think that's probably how he generates so much money is by exploiting that desperation. These men are sadly the coin block and he is Mario constantly jumping up to pop a few extra coins out of there. He is selling to your insecurities and you're buying in in a big way. He's making a ton of money off of this shit. But you know what? Maybe I'm being too harsh. Maybe he's got a good heart here and the lessons at the MDK program are invaluable. So let's go ahead and take one of their big selling points of the three-day experience that's going to shatter your self-doubt and limiting beliefs, gain clarity in your life's work and purpose, heal from trauma that makes you feel broken and unworthy, and dig deep into your past to uncover the experiences holding you back. Let's see how they help tap into that and help you heal from trauma, for starters. Shut up! One more fucking word, you're gone! I'm not fucking around! Shut up, stop rolling your fucking eyes, stop asking for fucking electrolytes, and be a fucking man. I don't give a fuck what you do when you're home. You are not impressing me here with your little fucking machines and shit. You're good because you have all these fucking comforts. Shut the fuck up and be a team player and go fucking join your team. You say another fucking word, you're gone. That just healed my trauma witnessing that. That was worth every penny of the $18,000 to go there and get fucking yelled at for I don't know what. Uh, talking about some kind of machines? I don't know if this guy was building drones. He must be like Jimmy Neutron with all kinds of inventions that he's letting loose at the facility. I don't know. I don't know what he was getting yelled at because it wasn't very clear. He just keeps telling him to shut up even though the guy hasn't said a word or anything at all. He's just standing there taking it. Look at his shirt. Are we lying? It's just water, Kowalski. Stop being a little girl. The more you do it, the more you're gonna fucking get it. Keep the fucking down. It's water. You were just in the fucking ocean. This is fresh water. You grew up doing this as a kid. Everybody on your feet. 
I don't know why they're so fixated on water. I think they just saw that in an action movie one time and were like, damn, we've got to integrate this into the program. Because, like, half of the clips they showcase is just them spraying the people with hoses. And then, like, occasionally pseudo-waterboarding them. Imagine paying $18,000 to get waterboarded. What an experience. And also, half of these videos just have them laying on the ground, either crawling around, or just getting sprayed with water, or having them get hit with waves in the ocean as they lay on the beach. Like, they are laying down more often than a vampire in a coffin. Like, what is this supposed to teach you? They just to lay down and take punishment forever? And we're also going to yell at you because fuck you, but thanks for the money. This is basically just teaching you when the going gets tough, lay down and give up. And, and do it with a smile on your face and no money to your name. It all runs so counterintuitive to like this perception of what a man is. Like, I feel like it's just the guys behind this program really have some kind of fetish for humiliating dudes that pay them or something. It's kind of like pay piggy behavior, but amplified. So they just bring these guys out who are desperate and wanting to better themselves, and they just degrade them and call it beneficial somehow. Hey, lay down, and then occasionally carry this block of wood on your back and, like, walk a mile or so. That does nothing. And they keep framing it like... It's when we have to go fight another war. What happens when your wife... Or your kid needs you. What are you gonna do when a war comes? What are you gonna do when a bad guy is about to kill your wife and son? Well, jinkies, zoink, Scoob. With all the lessons I've learned at the MDK program, I'm just gonna lay down on the floor and wait for him to kill them, and then me. And I'll do it with a smile on my face and tell him thank you on the way out, I guess. Because that's all you're fucking teaching. I had to mute this audio because it was copyright, but it's just the same old hoopla everyone's heard a million times. Your wife didn't marry a boy. She didn't want another son. She wanted a man. And to be a man, you gotta be confident. You gotta be capable, courageous. You have to have the ability to protect them by any means necessary. And of course, you've always got to be prepped for the worst case scenario. The worst case scenario is draining $18,000 from the joint bank account to go behind your wife's back for a little three-day excursion field trip with your boys pretending that you're getting some kind of valuable lesson on being a real man. That is the last thing your wife is going to want. Like, th he's saying all of this on top of footage where one of the students is digging his own grave. That That's one of their... Uh, I don't even know what to call them. Exercises? It's not an exercise. Playtime activities? I, I don't really know. But it, it's on their rubric, I guess, because they, they go out there and they dig their own grave. Here's footage from, like, a little documentary they made about it. And I'm going to have to admit to a mistake here. When I recorded it, I forgot to mute my mic. So as I'm watching it, you're going to hear me giggle a few times when one of the founders goes in and bestows upon us some sage wisdom out there, fatigued, tired, exhausted, digging their own grave, laying down their body bag that we supply them, going in it, we zip them up and we throw a few shovelfuls of dirt on top of them so they feel the weight of the earth. You start kind of going through a checklist. Yeah, the first thing on that checklist should be never wasting money like this again. I've really fucked up with this. How does this help you be a man going into a body bag as they shovel dirt on you? Everyone knows they're going to die at some point. This isn't some kind of enlightening, shocking experience that's going to be like this eureka moment where they turn their whole life around. They paid $18,000 to lay in a body bag as a bunch of goofballs dump dirt on them. Yippee. Yeehaw. And the thing I thought of was that dash that separates my birth date and my death date on my tombstone. And in fact, that dash is the only thing that matters. That dash is the only thing that matters because what you do between your birth date and your death date is the impact that you left, the significance that you had, the legacy that you built. No shit, that dash is called living. He's trying so hard to be deep. He was trying to find something profound and he's like, birth, death. But what about the in-between, the dash? Wait. That's where life was. And that's where you start to think about your legacy. Like, obviously, oh my god, yes, that dash is when you were alive. You were born, you died, and in between, you lived. So fucking obviously that's what you're going to think about is the time you were alive. That he is saying nothing. You were paying $18,000 to this malfunctioning chat GPT brained loser. Time to install right now, gentlemen. Fucking pay for this. You want to be here. This is where you want to be. Put your head down and quit. Put your head down or quit. In the back. 
Put your head down or quit. You know what? Stand up. Stand the fuck up. Stand hey, up don't right break now. your chain! Stand hey! Up. This program seems more like it's mermaid training, like trying to teach them how to become fish people like Atlanteans. It's so water focused for some reason. It's like all they have over there, I guess. So here they're just laying on the beach, letting the waves crash in on them. And they like to remind them that they pay for it just to further humiliate and degrade all of the students here that signed up for it. And then of course they're all locking arms because that's a sign of the brotherhood, I guess. They do that for a lot of their activities. So get up, but don't break the chain because that means you hate your fellow men or something. It's just so goofy and sad. I legitimately feel bad for the people that are dumping $18,000 to do these courses because they are vulnerable men that are getting preyed upon by con artists. This is not anything that is going to make anyone more successful, stronger, or better. This is just $18,000 you wasted. Now, of course, it's not easy. I'm not making the claim that it is, but you know what else isn't easy? Getting waterboarded. But you know what it doesn't help you do? Be more successful. Just because something's hard and you do it doesn't mean that you benefited from it. You know what else was hard? When I sprained my ankle and then still decided to play basketball anyway. And you know what? I played the worst game of basketball of my life. I shouldn't have played in that game. And that's a lesson I learned. Like hopefully all of these students will going forward that what they experienced wasn't easy. Getting blasted with the hose, being pseudo waterboarded, endless amounts of just nonsense, just to be uncomfortable for the sake of being uncomfortable, accomplished nothing and did nothing to improve their life. They just wasted money. And there's so many courses and so many guys just like this that keep exploiting these insecurities right now to make money on the back of men that are just really trying to find ways of bettering themselves. It's fucking tragic, honestly. It really is rough. So... I just wanted to talk about this a little bit. That's it. See ya.